Bro, you was fast. <laughs> <laughs> you gave it up quick, bro. Gave what up? The let's, number. Let's be serious. The number. Oh, I. Because those, the cheeks. those the number. ain't no cheeks, nothing. The you ain't number. Get no cheeks. In the cheeks. But um, yeah, she gave up. How the... long it took for you to get Listen. there? Let's not get there. What up, Mitch Mafia? It's your boy, Sheik. And your girl, C. And today, we back with another video. Alright, guys. So, today, we are going to be doing a relationship question and answer video. Two weeks ago, I had put up on Instagram, on Snapchat, and I think Facebook, basically for you guys to just ask us some relationship questions, whether it has to do with us or your relationship. It didn't matter. So, before we get into that, today is October 24th. Today makes another month that my uncle been gone. Um, It's four months now. Um... It's crazy. It's it's crazy how just time is flying. It's hard to speak about it without crying. But um, I know you guys are getting tired of seeing these hats, but I'm always going to rep this. You might see this in every single video. I told him to put it on because he didn't have it on. And I'm like, put your hat on. In the back it says Justice for Matthew. I think I explained it. And then here is just basically like stop the gun violence. A lot of people asking me how I've been doing, how I've been feeling and stuff like that. It doesn't get easier. Time doesn't heal. Um, and it's just crazy. It's like it's... Something you can never explain. So before we get into this video, guys, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Go subscribe to our channel. Hit that subscribe button right now. We will really, 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 really appreciate it. We've been growing. Like, we see the growth and we're so thankful for everyone who's been commenting and just giving us so much feedback. We really, really appreciate every single one of you. Please excuse my bare face. I know I always say that, but... No, oh, bare face. You got I a beard. Got I said bare face. Bare. What bare means? Bear. You got a beard? Without further ado, let's get right into this video. So today I ain't letting her talk. I'm doing all the talking. You don't even know the questions. You better hide that now. I am. See me? <laughs> <laughs> I have a I have a broken nail and I'm trying to hide it. So you ready? Okay, look, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna say exactly how she wrote it. Okay, girl, listen, I got with a guy. He's he's amazing to me in many ways, but his lifestyle sucks. Should I stick through or Ew, walk off? I got mad knots in my head. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give my my opinion, like my answer, and you give yours. All right, guys, so you guys heard the question, and I'm gonna be very honest with the answers. Um, his lifestyle sucks, but he treats you good. Um, as a woman, me personally, I feel like men are wrecks. Yeah. Most of them. Yeah. Majority of them are wrecks. And I feel like women, we're like that motivation. We help in so many different ways. We're just that, that push. So I feel like if he treats you right and his lifestyle sucks, it's okay because you can't raise a man, but I feel like you could change him. And I feel like a man that wants to change for you, a man that wants you as much as you want him, he'll change for you. It doesn't matter his lifestyle. It doesn't matter what he does. If he wants you, that's going to change. His lifestyle is going to change because he's going to make sure that he has you. That makes sense? A little bit. What, what did it make sense? That you basically saying you could change him. Right? Ten. All right. I feel like if a man wants you, you you I, you should if a, know. If a man wants you, he's gonna change for he's you. He's gonna change for you. Period. All right. So my opinion now. My lips are shut. No, you good. You Gucci. So my opinion now. Uh, I personally think that. Need the question again, nigga. I'm frozen <laughs> like Facetime. I personally think that. Did you meet him while he was into that lifestyle? Yeah, obviously. You met him That's while he was... That's not her boyfriend. So you knew what you was getting yourself into, basically. I got with a guy. He's amazing to me in many ways, but his lifestyle sucks. I mean... Should I stick my, through? I have a question for your question. My question is, do you did you tell him about himself? Did you Do you want him to change? Did you do things to him to encourage him to change? Did you um tell him, like, yo, if you don't change, I'm going to leave? Or See, if, if he really wants you, he's going to change for you. If he really wants to be with you, he'll change for you. It might be a long process, but 
Eventually he'll change. You'll see slow steps, baby steps. He'll, but he'll change eventually. If he really want to be with you, he'll change. That's what I, I believe. I, that's so. what I said. Yeah, it's the same thing. Like, and then I mean, you didn't explain like what's his lifestyle. Um, They're not gonna really. Explain well, no, I get that. it. But like, let's just say like, uh, a murderer type mm -hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what if we're not? We're not. We're gonna be realistic. Let's say he goes out. And he sell drugs. No, I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, sell drugs. No. What could a lifestyle be? Going out partying. I mean, yeah. Or lives with his mom. Going out partying and living with his mom. Like, let's, he's older. He's, like, you know, in his 30s. Probably lives with his mother type. Like, I don't know what kind of lifestyle is it that you're talking about. But one thing's for sure. If he really wants you, he's going to change for you. So I say stick through it. What do you say? Walk yeah. off or stick through stick it? Stick through it. Stick through it. Stick through it for a little while. Yeah, because and especially that you're saying that he's amazing. If he's amazing, girl. There's girl. no amazing men out here like me, you know? There is not. It's hard to find an amazing man. It's hard to find a good man, period. It's, it's, hard, so, to, it's hard to find a chic, you yeah. know? <laughs> Next question. I hope we answered your question. Please if we let didn't, us know if we comment did. in the section below. If we didn't, yes. Let us know in the comment section below. And we'll definitely answer it in the next video. Yeah, like if you want to add, an, add another question or whatever, we'll definitely do another video. Let us know if you want to see another video like this. I would definitely do it. Okay. Should you have guy friends and should he have girlfriends? Like chill with them, call them, everything. Hmm. I'm going to go first. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> me personally, I think no. You shouldn't have no guy friends and no girlfriends. Because, I mean, unless you Wait, know. talk about me. Don't say... I'm to I'm answering her question. Yeah. Unless I'm gonna answer the girlfriends. You answer the guy friends. What? That you shouldn't have no guy friends? Uh, yeah. That's so what basically. She's saying should you have. I know. I know. I understand. See. Okay. <laughs> so no, I feel like personally no, you shouldn't have no guy friends. And if you do, let's say you had a guy friend before you met your man, or whatever. The, your man should actually know that person and know about them, and they know each other. You know. But I don't think you should be calling and texting. Like, I don't think none of that because then that leads on to something else. I did. I, I don't think I answered that right. Me personally, I don't think guy friends are good. Why? Why? Because it's not. Why? I can't answer that. It's just not. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna answer from my um, perspective. Um, if you if you didn't come into this relationship with having girlfriends, then it's different. Then I personally feel like, okay, now you have a girlfriend. How do you have a girlfriend? Like, how is this? How did this come about? It's, it's hard. It's so hard when your relationship, especially the way I start off. Now, let's just say you're coming into the relationship and you was a female that had a lot of guy friends. You know what I'm saying? And then you get with somebody like, you know, you let him know from Jump Street. Like, look, I have a lot of guy friends. You know, you can meet them, this, whatever, this, that, and the third. And if he feels comfortable, that is his option to be like, you know what? Okay. That's fine, because I have a lot of girlfriends. Then you guys are getting into the relationship knowing and understanding that, okay, my, you know, my partner has a lot of guy friends, girlfriends, whatever the case may be. But chilling and calling, I don't But, know. like, all the chilling and stuff, like, if we're not all chilling together, then I don't know. Like, it's, it's hard. It's hard, especially nowadays. Like, nowadays is like everybody's screwing each other. Friends, best friends screwing each other. So it's, I know, I'm sorry, I'm talking with my hands, mad Spanish. Friends, best friends, best screwing friends each screwing each other. Birdie, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> like, birdie. <laughs> so I just feel like it's hard nowadays. I think I've no stop. Leave me alone. Stop. This is like this is this is when it's real. You know, it gets real when you like. Heard you sis. But I know. I really feel nowadays it's more harder to have friends. Come to chic. Twelve. Chic. I come to chic twelve years later talking about. Babe, you know, I got a friend that, you know, I would like you to meet. Like, he's just my friend. He's it's a like, dub! He's going to be like, what? How? You know, it depends. I don't know how, I don't really know how to explain it's this. It's the same thing. But personally, I guess the answer is no. I would say no, um, unless you're coming into the relationship with your guy friends and girlfriends. And unless... Even that slows down. And even, yeah, because that slows down too. Unless y'all on the same page. It's different. It depends on the person. Every, everybody relationship yeah, is different. Yeah, everybody's different and it also depends on the person. It just depends what type of person you're dealing with and what type of person yeah, you are. Yeah, honestly. When did you know Sheik was the one for you? Was it love at first sight, friends first, or I like this guy, maybe I see a future with him? Let me tell you, let me get that started. First of all, no. She Why saw me. The question she me? saw me and was like, mm, that's a snack. I'm keeping him for life. I ain't letting them go. That's what you said. 
He gonna have my babies. That's what you said, right? And you said it just like that. He gonna have my babies. That's what you said? No. We gonna get married. He gonna have my babies. No, I never said so, that. So, alright, let's go ahead and explain. Alright, so I'm answer the first one. When did you know Sheik was the one for you? When she walked in that classroom. Alright, to be very honest. I'm going to be very honest. I knew Sheik was the one for me. First of all, when I got to high school, I was dealing with two other people. Mm -hmm. Might sound crazy, but I'm telling you, I've, I promise I've always been a good girl. I've always been a good girl. But I was dealing with two other people, basically like with the back and forth. And then I had met Sheik. Then me and Sheik started talking and... um. You know, one thing led to the next, and basically we just started, the, the talking got more serious. And he, I, did you ask me to, no. oh, I asked you to be my boyfriend. She was like, can you be my man? I asked you to be my boyfriend, right? Yeah. Well, the day that I asked him to be my boyfriend, before I asked him that question, I thought to myself, is he the one that I want? Like, I have to really make up my mind right now. Like, I have to really figure this out. Because if not, he's going to leave me alone. He's not going to want to talk to me no more. Or I'm going to just be the third guy. Or, yeah, basically. So I'm just like, you know what? He is the one. And I just felt it. I really did. And then that's how I knew he was the one. Because I made up my mind. And I made up my mind within seconds. Like, I didn't... I, I thought about it for one second, but within the seconds, I really was like, nah, he's the one. It's crazy. It's crazy. But I, was it love at first sight? Absolutely. I was comfortable being the third one. I would have been all right. What? I don't know. That's sad. It's sad, but I ain't have no girlfriend, so I didn't care. Yeah, I guess. Um, but I know, like, after school would have ended, it would have been over between me and you. Like, if we would have yeah, not we not really seen each other. Yeah, it would have been over, because it's like... The first summer, when I first met her, the first summer, we didn't really see each other that whole summer. We probably seen each other once or twice at a party, and that was it. It was nothing crazy. Like, I didn't, I never chilled with her in the summer, so I really didn't get in contact with her and stuff like that. I mean, I called her a few times, but that was about it. It wasn't nothing crazy. Like, we didn't really, the first year, we didn't, we took it serious in school, but as of out of school, we wasn't that yeah, serious. Yeah, and plus my parents was always strict. So, yeah. like, the, like, when we was in school, it was me and him. Like, we together. But when we was out of school, it was different because my, was, par my was, parents was really strict. She was single on the, in no, the was, summertime. No, it wasn't. Anyway, was, was it love at first sight? Yes, it was. Um, when I first seen him, literally when I first seen him, I was like, damn. I walked in your class and she was like, like such a cutie. Like that's what when I first when I first first seen him, I was like, damn, what a cutie. Am I still that cutie? Light skin. Yeah, you still look the same. You just got hair in your face. I'm gonna cut it off so I can look like a cutie. You really too. still look the same with just hair in your face. <laughs> um, friends first. Uh, not really. No, we wasn't friends. The first week we kissed. No, it wasn't. Her aunt was like, when you gonna kiss my niece? No, it was like the third week. I was like... How? It was really like the third week we kissed, but, um... No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It was the first week. Ah, uh, how could it be the first week? No, it wasn't. I think I met you on a Friday. Now this, like... I met you on a Friday. No, I met you on a Thursday. I got your number that Friday. It was the weekend. I remember it was the weekend coming no. up. We spoke no, that whole... it was like at least two weeks. You're bugging. Bro, you was fast. <laughs> <laughs> you gave it up quick, bro. Gave what up? The let's, number. Let's be serious. The number. Oh, I. Because right. don't, don't do the it. Number. Ain't no cheeks, nothing. The you number. ain't get no cheeks. In the cheeks. But um, yeah, she gave up. How the... long it took for you to get Listen. the cheeks? Let's not get there. We wasn't really friends. So what what would you um, call us in that first two weeks? I mean, mad flirty. It's like we was already like, like it wasn't really friends. We we became friends when we got together. Yeah, we was more cool. Like we was way more like we was cool, cool, and it was really like we were friends. Period. We was together, but we was friends. She was my bestie. Yeah, nah. It really, so yeah, in the relationship, we were friends, not before that. Um. Or I like this guy, maybe I see a future with him. No, yeah, I definitely seen a future with him. I definitely did. But I knew it was going to be a lot of work. That's one thing I didn't know for sure. Because wow. she was, you was in the streets. You was young in the street. You had bozo-ass friends. I just knew it was going to be a lot of work. I knew I knew it was going to be a lot of work. Still to this day is a lot of work. But it's all right. I love you, so. Nah, we done. That's cool. I could deal with that. We done. All right, you ready for the other questions? Share some of the blessings you have received. How have they brought you guys together? So Some of the blessings we have received and how has it brought us together? Our baby, of course. That was the For sure, like, our daughter. Our biggest blessing. For sure. That was our biggest blessing. I mean, it's a life, you know, a little baby. 
She brought us so close, like, I can't even explain. No, it did, it, she really did. It was just so much love and so much happiness. Well, it still is. Yeah. Because you're still watching her grow as... I mean, you see this little thing turn into, like, a long person. You're like, what? But that's pretty obvious. That will, of course, having baby Z, that's definitely for sure. Top blessing that definitely brought us together. Um, but anything else you could think of that brought us together? When we got married. Yeah, oh, for sure. Oh, yes, our marriage. That definitely brought us closer. And it's crazy, because still to this day, I just be like, yo, we really married. Like, you're really not just my boyfriend, you're really my husband. Like, that's crazy. And it's so much more serious. Like, yeah, it's so, so much serious. more serious. Like, you have to really think about the things that you do. You know, you just can't get up and leave whenever you want to or just be like, it's over or I don't want to talk to you or get out. It's not that simple. Yeah, when you fight, you really got to fight. What do you mean? When you fight, you got to fight. What you mean? You got to fight to stay. Right. You can't fight to leave. Yeah, exactly. So it's just like, all right, I'm wrong, but like, yeah. let's talk about it. Before, we used to fight. I used to fight to leave. I'm not going to lie. I used to be like, you know what? I'm leaving. It's I'm that he doesn't, Sheik doesn't like pressure. Like, Sheik doesn't like, he doesn't like, Um, how do you say that? What is the word? When, like, when things get crazy, he's quick to just leave. And that's one thing I always hated about him. I always hated that, that he couldn't take it. Like, he couldn't sit down and just talk to me. At one point, it was just like, we would argue and he would just really get up and leave. Like, it's crazy. I, ha I hated that so much because it's just like, wow, we just can't talk about it. It's different now. It's much different now, but I could definitely say, like, at wanna, one point. You want to argue and was, demonstrate? Huh? You want to argue and demonstrate? No. That's it. I'm leaving. Stop. I'm leaving. See, she don't want me to leave. She don't um, want me. All right, so Baby Z, our marriage. What else? Oh, one, another thing that I can say, it's, it's crazy that I'm calling it a blessing because it's painful. But one thing I could definitely say is how um, understanding. I would say understanding and why I say understanding is because when she lost his brother, I didn't really understand. And it was like, what do I do but be there? And that's all I wanted to do was just be there for him. But I didn't really, I didn't understand. And I never, I never wanted to understand that pain, but I wanted to make, I wanted him to know that I'm here, that I was here for him no matter what. You know, and, and even though I didn't know what to do, I didn't know what to say. I just wanted to be there. Now, when I lost my uncle, more like my brother, and it's no difference. That's his brother. That's my brother. Um, it's like I understood immediately what he felt. And it was crazy because I'm like, wow. Like, it's sad that we had that we can compare because it's like damn nobody you, nobody wants to go through this no you you don't wish this pain on nobody i'm sure he would have never wished this pain on me but it happened and understanding was a blessing because it's like damn like i know exactly the pain you felt and although we grieved completely different we we grieve completely completely different it's still understanding and it was a blessing because it brought us closer. Like to me, it's like sometimes I get overwhelmed and I just feel like you're not there enough because you know, we have our own lives. Like he has to do what he has to do. I got to do what I do. And I feel like when I need him, it's like he's at work or whatever. But I do, I do see that it has brought us a tad bit closer because it's like, Damn, I know, you know, I know you're hurt, I know your pain, and I just want to be here for you. If that makes sense. It makes sense. What are some of the things you do to keep your relationship growing? Sex. <laughs> talk, talk, and talk. Don't bring up no talk. And walk. Do not bring up walk. no talk. <laughs> walk away. Um, when you're in the wrong, walk away. What are some of the things, what are the, some of the things you do to keep your relationship growing? YouTube. That's one of the things we do that's to, true. Keep, to keep our relationship That growing. is very, very true. YouTube is number one. That's one of the things that keep us growing. God is number one. God is number one. That's right. YouTube is number two. But yeah, you give one. Get off, man. You mad heavy. Like you like. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It's, it's not easy being in a relationship, guys. This is a job. It is definitely a job, it a marriage. A, it is a job. It's a job. 
you, it's a job and it's a responsibility. This is you, this is my responsibility. No, I have she, to make sure at all times. It's a job time, and she thinks she's the boss. I'm the boss. That's when you get slapped. <laughs> But it's a job and it's a responsibility. It's my responsibility to make him happy, to make him, you know, to wake up in the morning and just and look forward to breakfast. his day, you know, like, you know, like, just like make my sure wife. You... I love my wife. And just to make him feel like a man. All right, guys. So that is the end of our relationship and answer video. I hope we answered you guys' questions. And if we didn't, please leave that in the comment section below. And just let us know where we can elaborate on. Maybe, you know, drag the question. Or maybe you want to add some more to your question. We could definitely do that. If you want to see another video like this, let us also know in the comment section below. And we'll definitely do another video like this. So, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This shout out goes to the whole Mitch Mafia. The whole Mafia. We are so thankful for you guys. Seriously. Thank you guys. I love you, and I love you, and we love you, and I love you more. Body drop all the time, I don't feel nothing. Swear to God, y'all gon' make me go kill something. Tell my shooter, no mercy or chill, but I done been through so much, I don't feel nothing. I was down off the drugs, I made two dead. I was locked in myself, I to lose it. They be watching me, clocking my movement. They be